think everything will hold till next week. Give us Roby Show and Ted Hoffman. Welcome to the program. Good morning. What's up this morning? Pull that mic to you. You know you get that mic don't go that far. You. I'm talking to you. Can you hear me? Now yeah, I can yeah. hear you. You gotta, you gotta get up close to it. Gee, I tell you, th this has been some. I can't believe what the Times Union did yesterday. That was an announcement that floored everybody. I, I wanted, di dialogues on. Well, you could come on on uh, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, or Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday with the Times Union. You know. We could we could go uh, two hours on the days that they don't publish. Yeah. Huh? Uh, yeah. How old was that? How old is that paper? A hundred seventy-five. I think they've been they've been doing daily since yeah. for a hundred and seventy-five. Even last year, it was last week. I think they came up with a big, uh, yeah, hundred and seventy-five year old. Newspaper. But you know, Gib, we was, uh, who was it? Woody Falgu was on yeah. Tuesday, and we were talking about, I mean, we weren't talking about the Times Picayune, but we were talking about how the media has changed. Oh, I Social media has changed. The print media has changed. Um, you know, the, the radio media, the, the radio, everything's changed. You know, when you look at, in, in, you look at, I'm looking at my iPad right now, I'm getting news on my iPad. Uh -huh. You know, I'm not sitting here reading a page. It's, it's understandable, I guess, how that could happen. You hate to see a tradition like that go down oh, the tubes. I, I mean, I've been reading the Times Picayune since my daddy used Me to pick too. it up at 430 in the morning off the highway, you know, but um, I, I guess times change. And, uh, Just what think I, of the jobs that are being lost and the people that deliver, every, you know, what's her name in Thibodeau? She's so faithful, you know. Miss Bonnie. Miss Bonnie. Miss Bonnie been delivering papers for Bonnie. ever since I think Eight. probably 15, 20 years. 18 years, I believe. 18 years. Bonnie Fortson. Bonnie, Bonnie Fortson, Fortson, you're right, yeah. She's amazing. And she finished college, you know, she got a degree at Nichols. Yep. And she, I think she's going, she's going to have to look for something now because only three days, you know, three days a week. It's going to be Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday, Sunday, huh? What about, I was thinking about this last night. What about New Orleans is a big sports town. What's going to happen uh -huh. to all of the sports writers that cover the Saints on a daily basis, the that cover the Tigers and Nichols and Tulane and, and the Zephyrs and uh, the Hornets? What's going to happen to all of that daily publication? I emailed them already and told them that they should have, they should have a Monday edition to take care of what happened that weekend, you know? Sunday is a big news day, especially in sports. And yeah, gonna, yeah. Gonna you know, what's going to happen to, yeah, because the sports section on Monday after the Saints game was always three or four pages oh, sure, thicker. What's sure. going to happen to all that? And all that yeah. stuff, sure. Going to be some major all, changes all in how Saturday, we view. The Saturday college game, of course, they'll yeah. come out on Sunday. That's Sunday morning. That's all right. But uh, the Sunday thing, they're ruining Sunday. They upset a lot of people. Uh, but, you know, uh, time's changed, and, and who knows, maybe maybe the public will demand that they go back on a daily basis. I, I don't know. I bet you they do. I bet it's happening in Baltimore already. It happened <coughs> in big newspapers. I, I can't believe New York Times would stop that, you know. Yeah. Who knows? Maybe the Wall Street Journal. I, and I would assume, and I don't know anything about the print business, uh -huh. um, I would assume it's a question of advertising revenue. Absolutely. Declining. Yeah. I, I would. I mean, I'm. I'm. I'm just making that assumption because the majority of of print media, the way they make their money, is through advertising. Oh, you yeah. know, it only costs what fifty cents or seventy five cents a paper. That's right. Well, you can't. <laughs> you know. I mean, you can't survive on that. So right. their main source of of funding sure. is advertising. Advertising. It. And what I, I think what happened is, you know, advertisers only have so many dollars to spend. Uh -huh. And with the with the new with the new media in place like yeah. iPad and iPods and smartphones and uh, computers and, and uh, websites that are sucking up some of those dollars as less dollars to put into print media. Therefore, some of these some of these newspapers must go down, you know, go by the wayside. I mean, yeah. it's been happening all over the country. That's right. You know, the last, uh, what, three to five years, I would uh, assume. So, right. yeah, big, big jolt, big shock uh, for New Orleans. At one time, New Orleans had two papers, yeah. the State's Item right. and the Times-Picayune. Sure, I remember that well. You do? Uh -huh. I don't. Yo, you, you, you're so young. <laughs> you, said, you, and, you and Ted are so young. I want I I want to ask Ted yeah, about that. But how, you know, Ted was born in the last century too, and I don't know what what year he was born in. But what I, I, I want to question him and Lindy about music in Thibodeau. Music in Thibodeau. Ted, what was the first instrument you ever played? Uh, drums. A drum. Always a drum. Huh? Yeah. Uh, I, I was. Uh, Influenced by Lindy because he uh, played drums. I wonder why. I, wonder why. <laughs> I tell you, it just amazes me when I, when I see these bands and all these 
the, the drummer plays every every beat of every. I I figured 25 million already on him, <laughs> and he played the the drum. It's just amazing, you know. They give a solo to this and a solo to that, and sometimes solo to this. Oh, absolutely! But drum solos are popular but now. But every beat of every song, Ted's sitting there playing that thing. I can't believe that. They are. What would you call them? The 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 drums or the per a percussion is the backbone of oh, all music, I, oh, right? Absolutely. The heartbeat. Heartbeat. Hey, that's it. Heartbeat of all heartbeat music. Of all music. Yeah. Now let's go back a little bit, Ted, and tell us about wh wh how old were you when you started? You, what, you took any piano lessons? You did Miss Tyrez or anything like that? Well, I could kick myself today because um, Sadie Rivier offered me to have free piano lessons, and I was a fool and didn't take them. Oh, man. Said, well, I'm going to play drums, so. That's what I hear from the kids all the time, the brand new band students. Yeah, uh -huh. But I started in fifth grade, and I Miss Stoffel was the band director at that time. And I played drums from fifth to eighth grade. And between my eighth and ninth year, Russell Lassane gave me lessons on sousaphone because he lost all of his sousaphone <laughs> players that graduated. And I played four years in high school, four years in college, now I'm playing tuba in the, in the community band. Can you believe that? You know, yeah. You know, when when you got talent, uh -huh. you know, you can adapt yourself to any, right. to, to just about, I don't want to see, but when you got, when you got that knack, but you got to remember, it takes a, it takes a talent. You know, it don't, you it, it don't come natural. Believe me, I'm, I can sit here and tell you that. Hang on a second. Let me grab this call. <laughs> Good morning. You're live, KTIB. Ted's been playing drums so long. Last time I saw him set up. His drums had a pacemaker and a defibrillator <laughs> on them. I don't even know. <laughs> <laughs> pacemaker? <laughs> tell, tell, tell what he just said. He said you've been playing drums so long that your drums have a pacemaker and a defibrillator on them. <laughs> <laughs> well, I tell you, I played this set of drums so long that I actually wore the metal down. I had to buy a new pedal because the metal was gone. Couldn't even read the brand name off of it. Wow. <laughs> No, I tell you what. If you just lay them down, we get when we get a phone call. I just turn them up, and then you can oh, hear them. Okay. So yeah, we we that's an easy way to do it. That way, yeah, sure. you don't have to. These headphones are aggravating, but you got to have yeah. them. But anyway, um, you know, talking and let's talk about the we and we've we've talked about this many times before about the wealth of talent mm -hmm. in this area. Uh, and, and you go back to the days when, when Ted was a, was young and even yeah. younger. You know, when you look at, th this is like a treasure trove. You know, when you look at what's come out of Thibodeau and Homa and Labadeville and, and uh, uh, heck, uh, Nicky Carey is still playing. I heard from Nicky a couple of weeks ago. He called me on, on, on a program that we did. Uh, when, you, when you look at just the, the, the tremendous musical wealth in this area, and, and you say, well, why? Well, you got to go back, I think, and Ted, you correct me if I'm wrong, you got to go back to some dedicated teachers. Oh, yes. absolutely. You know, that, that took you at a young age and said, you know what, music can be fun. Mm -hmm. Music can be enlightening. Uh, it can be, well, you know, it can be, as Johnny always says, the soul in your bowl. Yeah, right. It can do a lot of things. But when you look at the, and you, you go further back than I do, but when I look at, at Mr. Lindy and Miss Mary Ann and uh, Mr. LaSang and all of those I call them the pioneers. Yeah, you know, Moosey Gorey at Tibbetto High. Moosey put Tibbetto High on the map. That's right. You know, uh, when you, and even further than that, Miss, uh, who was it, the, the, the piano play, the lady? Miss uh, Torres. Miss Torres, Torres and, and all of those people. Miss Margaret Toops. Sarah Tupes, Marshall. Yeah, I mean, uh, all of those people that, piano lessons there. Just that a, taught music back absolutely. then. You know, the, the dedication Correct. on their part. Uh, I, I think was a, was a, was in very instrumental in, in instrumental. I like in, that. That's a good when word. When you talk huh? about music, you talk <laughs> about instrumental. <laughs> I tell you a bit. What we should go back to is Professor Scholl. Fifty years at St. Joseph's, he he started the music department at St. Mount Carmel Academy, Tuberville College. You know, who? Uh, Professor Scholl. Emmanuel Scholl. Emmanuel Scholl. Fifty years at 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 uh, St. Joseph's. Up there. That's a uh, long I time. Old organist. He's got a ghost up there every time I go in there to play. But that organ's gone. My organ's gone, you know. It's just <laughs> crazy. They took it away. You got a new one now? <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. That big thing? You're, I want to do a story. Uh, I'm trying to get what you call them that, that put it up there. It's amazing. Are those pipes real? Oh, yeah. They yeah, work? pipes are real, but that's not the ones that the music comes out at the back. Those pipes are decorative, you know. They show 
they, they don't, those pipes don't play, but they all knew. And one day, uh, when you have a chance, I'll take you up there and see that. Wait a minute. If they, why would that be just decorative? You well, sure? Every time you see a pipe, a pipe organ, that's what it is. Uh, the real stuff is in the back. Huh? <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> Good morning, you're live, KTLB. While, you, while you're mentioning dedicated music teachers, don't forget to mention our brother Eugene uh, Staub, who taught at Thibodeau College. <laughs> for years. For years. For years. You know, and when we come back from break, we're going to talk about that and call back if we forget somebody. But, you know, that, I'm serious. That's what, you know, I think that's why this area is so rich, is because of the, the dedicated people that, were, that taught 50, 60, 70 years ago. Yes, sir. You know? I mean, I really got to believe that, John. You did. You had some good ones. Absolutely. No question yes, about sir. it. Thank you. Sure. Appreciate it. Bye-bye. We'll come back and talk to that. Hold on. We've got to take a short break. Okay. Listeners, pour yourself another cup of coffee. Come in right back here at the balcony, 640 AM KTIB. And welcome back, listeners. Again, talking about treasures. Got two musical treasures in the house this morning, Gibbons Roby Show and Ted Hoffman. And we hadn't done a musical show in a while, but it always uh, piques some interest. And uh, we got a caller during the break from Johnny talking about uh, Brother Eugene at Brother Thibodeau Eugene, College yeah, for right, years. Got a Eugene. caller off the air, James Cherry. Yeah. Um, you know, and, and I remember... Uh, oh, man... Um, Mr. Bill Martin. Yeah, got that. Okay. You know, of course, uh, Lindy, down, yeah. Mr. Lindy taught junior high school. Yeah. Um, Moosey Gorey was, of course, at Thibodeau High, and I think got there in, in I want to say, maybe 61, 62, 63, 62, 63, yeah, right, yeah. somewhere in there. <coughs> and, um, uh, you know, just uh, just you know, uh, Eddie Blanchard from, from Napoleonville, or Eddie Blanchard. Um, just, uh, just a Andre. guy's another one. Yeah, right. all, all are great. I'm like you. Gibbons offered me organ lessons when I was a kid free, and I think I took four. I, Ted, I'm still kicking myself for not doing that. <laughs> I would give anything to play the piano. Oh, heck, I'd give anything to play any kind of musical instrument, I guess. But, you know, I mean, um, people that play the piano, I guarantee you have more fun. My kids, most of my kids play the piano. They have more fun. They'll sit down and entertain oh, themselves for hours. Really you know, I mean, they really do. The piano is amazing. We're going to do a history on that one time. Yeah, I mean, why it's 88 keys and why only seven letters, you know, A, B, C, D, F, G. It's amazing that the background of music is, is something else. But I wrote down Bill Martin, Easton LaBeouf, Mike I Eon, forgot about Easton. Yeah, Easton. James yeah. Gorey, Raul Prado. Yep. Tim Robich. Look what Tim's doing. Yep. Ten, ten years at E.D. White. Brother Brendan, Brother Eugene, Al LeBlanc. You remember yeah, Al LeBlanc, E.D. White? Where was he? E.D. White. E.D. White. E.D. White, uh-huh. But they had, they had a, a lady that's in Homer. What's her name? She's in Homer now. She was there for a couple of years, I believe. Who was the guy down the by in Lockport? Raymond Ray Ray. It was Ed Barker down the by. No, that was. I don't remember that name. Recently, he probably just retired, probably oh, ten years oh, ago, five ten years. So. Ray Raymond. Ray Petrie. That's him. Ray Petrie. He was in Raceland. Raceland, that was it. Yeah. Ray yeah. yeah, Ray Petrie. Yeah. Very young people yeah. have. Oh, I can't. I can't remember all those names. <laughs> you can't remember what you had for breakfast this morning, I guess. Well, you know, <laughs> <laughs> Barbara Gann, who uh, Tim's married to, to Michelle Gann, and mm -hmm. her mama and and James Gorey did uh, South Pacific at Dixie Theater. Dixie Theater. Theater. Yeah. Yep, I remember that. Hang on a second, let me grab this call. Good morning, you live KTIB. Good morning, Gene, and good morning, Thibodeau. Good well, KC Meyer. Good morning. How do you know that's KC Meyer? I can rec I recognize her voice anywhere. Listen, I'll tell you what, this old voice is hurting this morning. I, I was in the Black Hills last week, uh, and, I, and I believe uh, my granddaughter was graduating, and I believe all the whole forest was in bloom up there. So I've got a little <laughs> allergies this morning, but uh, I'm here, and listen, we just want to uh, remember all of our, uh, those that gave the, uh, the, uh, their lives for our freedom yeah, in, amen, in America. Amen. I'm telling you, y'all doing okay over there? Yeah, we're doing fine. In fact, we just had a couple of calls. I got, we got Gibbons in the house this morning. We got Ted Hoffman in the house. We're talking about some of the the old music teachers and band directors in this area that were really instrumental in uh, uh, resulting in the treasure trove of musical talent that comes out of this area. 
Well, I'll tell you what, you know, kids now all learn uh, music uh, listening to a recording, Amen. and then they go pick it out and play, you know, so Amen. it's not the same anymore. No, but, uh, you know, they're, they're, they're a lot more talented than we were, don't yeah. you think? Uh, well, maybe <laughs> so. Maybe, maybe that's what it is, but I'll tell you the discipline that we all learned from what you're talking about. Um, just went with us and, and carried through all of our lives, through all parts of our life, you know. So, um, yeah, there were some great great band directors, and, and like I said, I think it was the discipline that we all gained so much from, you know, to carry through in our whole life that kept us going and interested in music, you know. You're right, and I don't want, I don't want anybody to take this lightly, but a lot of people back in the day played music and learned music to pass the time. That's right, yeah. Because there wasn't a whole lot to do like there is today. Exactly. That's why well, there's that's still more pianists back yeah. in the 1800s yeah. now. Yeah. yeah. That's very true. Uh, up in the Black Hills, uh, we went into a little uh, shop up there, and there was an old, what we called a pump organ. And I'm telling you, Gibbons, I thought of you. I'm, I got over there, and I'm, my legs were sore after I got through. I said, give me a chair and let me sit down here and play this old pump organ. Mm -hmm. And it was marvelous, and I really thought of you, Gibbons. I wish mm -hmm. you would have been there to have played it. <laughs> you, you were only 20 years old, I believe. And, and I, <laughs> and Kay, Kay, tell us about your, your early musical training. Do you have piano lessons? Uh, actually, I started playing when I was four. Uh, just picked it up, just sat down and started playing. And then mm -hmm. uh, when I was in the third grade, um, I tell this story quite a bit because um, the, the lady that gave me piano lessons, if I... If I veered off of the lesson at all, I mean, she had a ruler and she'd slap my hands with it, you know. Mm -hmm. And and uh, <laughs> I, so I stopped taking piano lessons. And I think so many times, if she had realized the the wonder of just a natural talent like that, and and allowed me to honor myself with that, you know, mm -hmm. along with taking, <laughs> along with, uh, you know, the lessons, then it would have, it would have really encouraged me to go on and, and have learned to even be a much better piano player. Yeah, well, uh, and it was an amazing story of you, the way you would sing, sing that beautiful song. We're going to sing a little bit of it in a minute, but the, the, how many years you played at the Ore House? The Ore House. The Or the O A R House. Uh, since we're out on a lake, I played there for 19 years. 19 years. 19 years, yeah. and it allowed it. I always say it was every musician's dream and every musician's nightmare to have a steady gig like that because uh, you went to the same place. But I did have an opportunity to write a lot, and as you know, I wrote the song "Let Freedom Ring." Yeah, I want you to sing a little bit of that for us. And. Uh, so anyway, but uh, it allowed me to do that and allowed me to go across the country and perform Let Freedom Ring. And certainly it was a, such a wonderful pleasure coming to Thibodeau and, and playing with you guys. And yeah. then in New Orleans, that was a... And I did want to remind your listeners, maybe, if they would like to go to YouTube, uh, that performance is on YouTube, just under K. C. Meyer. And uh, there's oh. another... Uh, a, a, it's an official... Uh, video of Let Freedom Ring uh, mm -hmm. that will, that's going to be used in an upcoming um, full-length documentary, Time Capsules. It should be released this year. I'll let that's you know. Okay. okay. But I they can go to just Casey before. Meyer on yeah. YouTube and uh, find three or four different renderings of Let Freedom Ring, and I'll be posting it on Facebook, too. So. That's great. Okay. Well, tell tell us, before you leave, tell us about uh, you singing seeing that freedom ring at the site of the 9-11 tragedy in New York. Well, I've actually done that uh, a couple of different times. Uh, the first time was uh, at the Sphere over at uh, Battery Park where they had a, a service over there. And uh, just look out across and see the Statue of Liberty, and uh, it, it was an incredible tribute to those that had fallen uh, in 9-11. Yeah. And then I uh, sang at the mosque last year, and then, then I uh, just sort of, uh, hey, I'll sing in the street or wherever, you know. 
in yeah. New York. So. Even in the sunshine. Hang on. Um, Ted's got a question for you. Uh, this is Ted Hoffman. Hey, Ted. How's it going? Fine. Your performance uh, with a full band was the first time with the Bayou Community Band at the World War II Museum. And Mr. Raul Prado is the one who did the band arrangement for you. Yes, I know it. I and know I, it. That I, was a, the, he was great doing that. I really, really appreciated that. I have to tell you a, a, a short story about it. After the performance, this old World War II veteran came hobbling on his crane, and he looked at my shirt, and he says, You're in the band, huh, mister? I said, Yes, sir, I am. He says, I want to tell you something. I heard them all. Army, Navy, Air Force, Coast Guard, Marines. Y'all the best damn band that ever played here. <laughs> that was the best compliment we ever received. Yeah, that's, right. that's right. That is absolutely incredible. That is incredible. Well, I tell you, that was a very, very memorable uh, performance. When are you coming back? Well, let's see. All you have to do is say, hey, come down. Okay, hey, good. come down. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> hey, listen, I want to give a big shout-out to Marianne and Landy and to the Baileys. And, Ted, it sure is great to hear you this morning. And, Gibbons, I hope you are doing well. Oh, I'm doing well. Uh, but uh, Lindy had a, a bad throat problem. He was supposed to be here this morning. I was hoping you could talk to him. Oh, but, well, uh, listen, I, I talk to him on the phone every now and then, yeah. make sure they're still kicking over it's there. Okay, and right. uh, So, and Jean, you're still at it. I'm so proud of you, and, and I know you bring a lot of happiness and and some good some good talking to all of your fans there. Yeah, we try. It, 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 the fans make this show. This is, you know, all I do is push the buttons, and uh, we got a, we got a great listening audience here. That, uh, people that are concerned about not only the community but concerned about music and and many many other things. So yeah, we never run out of stuff to talk about. Jane, oh, tell me uh, this. Yes. Uh, can you can she pick that up on on the internet? Absolutely, TibetoOnline.com. She can listen to us every morning. Com, you can yeah. pick up this show every day. Fantastic. Yep. Including Just you. Online, right? it's being, yeah, it's being recorded right now. Well, listen, I'm going to, I will certainly listen in. I promise you that. Well, sing a little bit of that, that freedom ring before you leave. Uh, well, I'm a little hoarse this morning. Oh. God bless America. God bless America. The home of the free and the brave. Yeah, you sound hoarse. We That's all good. stand together, united forever. Let the red, white, and blue ever wave. Thank you. God Jim. bless America. Thank God you. God bless Jim. you, baby. And you let me know when you're coming down now. Okay, I all will. Right. We'll we'll set them on fire. Well, I can I can say now I remember her when she was a nobody, and look at her now. <laughs> you, you made me everything I am. Yeah, today, all right. Huh? <laughs> Well, listen, I will gladly accept that, I'll tell you. You got it, babe. Listen, love you all down there, and uh, appreciate everything that you do for America, and I know you keep playing that song and yep. remind people of of our freedoms and that we certainly need to keep working for that. And uh, everybody get out and vote in November. You bet. All right. Thank you, Miss Kay. Thank you, Kay. Bye-bye. Love you. Hey, God bless America. Love you, baby. Thanks. Bye-bye. Oh, she's amazing. I hey, that was a treat. Uh -huh. Huh? Yeah. Lindy was a band director in the Fenet. That's Texas. correct, in Texas. That's how we got Fenet, to know. Texas, yeah. You know, it just goes to show you, uh, relationships, you know, it's kind of like the service. You develop some of these relationships yeah, exactly. that la literally last a lifetime. She was a good French horn player. Really? Yes. I tell you what, she can sure sing. You know what she really was? A great basketball player. All Still over the is, country. yeah. That's right. Still is, but... Senior citizen, that's right. No, I mean, just... You're not a senior citizen. You're not a senior citizen. Uh, no, man. 73, I guess so. <laughs> <laughs> One of these days, Gibbons, I'm going to get old. One of these days, no, I'm going to get old. your attitude, you'll never You know, but I mean, I, I fight it. I fight it every day. I just... You know, you, I believe that you just got to get the most out of life, and you got to get the most out of every day. And I'm like Ted. I don't even think about my age or my numbers. You know what? I don't remember as good. I don't do a lot of things as good. But it's okay. <laughs> you know, it's okay. You, you heard it. And yesterday, a 101-year-old man was hit by a car by a 98-year-old woman was driving. <laughs> and a 101-year-old man, 101 man was walking. It sounds like... Hello. <laughs> Hello. Here you are. I tell you, the news is amazing.
Yeah, yeah buddy. And uh, listeners, let me tell you, it's Memorial Day weekend. While we're talking about that, because this will happen before we come on on Monday, uh, there will be a memorial yeah. uh, tribute on Sunday, high noon, VFW building, uh, post 5097. Uh, right on, right off of Tiger Drive for those of you. If you haven't been, you need to go. And if you're a regular, I guarantee you this year will be just as good. And uh, I think Kay hit it on the head. You know, we're able to sit here and do what we do and behave like we behave and, and do some of the great things that we do because of the people that came before us and literally gave it all. You know what I was thinking? You, you get a different perspective. And you in the service, and you, 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 you get a different perspective on it. And, and they talk about, you know, serving your country and, and doing it for your country. Yeah. And, yeah, that's true. But I think, it, and if somebody disagrees with me, call me. I think you do it for the love of your family and your friends. That's right. As well as love of, you know, I don't want to die for this ground. No. You know, I'm, right. no. I, I was out in, in, in Hank and all, uh, uh, you know, and I can say Vietnam because we were there. You can say yeah. Korea and World War II because uh. <laughs> I don't want to die for this ground. This ground's not important to me. No. You know, but my family and my friends uh, are. Ah, America. You know, people are important to me. And I, and I think we, we served, and, and I got two grandkids in, you know. and, yeah, and I know. Uh, God, I, I worry about them, and I pray for them constantly. But they're not in there because they love, the, you know, they, they, no, they want right. to serve, the, you know. They they want to serve the people. Uh, they want to do. They want to make a difference for their family. Uh, they want to make a difference for their for friends. Their family, you know, yeah. and and they kind of take the attitude that that you and I did. You know what? Maybe if I do it, my kids won't have to do it. Yeah. You know who knows? Maybe one day there won't be any more of this Afghanistan, right. Vietnam, Korea, yeah. World War. Maybe there won't. You know Maybe. who knows? But I think um, I don't know. I just I think it's just a. The, these kids today are, are dedicated, um, you know, dedicated servicemen right. and women. Um, they're, they're, they've got uh, electronics on their side. I mean, they've got so much more to, to, to think and worry about as being a soldier than we did. That's right. You know, we didn't have a whole lot of well, a whole lot to work with. They got a lot to work with. Well, you I know, because of the changing in the times. What you they know? do with their you whole country believe doing, it. as far as a veteran appreciation, this weekend is there all kind of things going on to appreciate the yeah. veterans. And they, on the internet too, it's just amazing. Uh, I, of course, we can go. But when you talk about music, music in the military, boy, that that, that those the Marine band is unbelievable. Well, all them, yeah, all the military all bands, the military you know. Band. And, and uh, I, I, I am, um, I can never say this word. I, f I feel. C when you like something, like like a, if, if you like cigars, you, you I feel. I f I f <laughs> Appreciate. No, it's got office office I don't know how to say the dog. I don't speak thing. Spanish. Me, well, it's not. <laughs> oh man, somebody called me up with that word. Yeah, I, I can never say it. But anyway, um, you know, you march to it. You live by. You wake up to it. And when you're in the military, you go to bed by it. Yeah, that's right. uh, it's all music. All you know, music. during the day at 4:30 retreat, <laughs> uh, so, uh, five o'clock reveille, ten o'clock taps, or, <laughs> or whatever. And of course, the parades that you go through on Saturdays, oh. and and yeah, I mean, you're, your audience be without music, you know? Dead. When you go on dead. <laughs> 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 I got a little tape. I got. When you take a break, I want to play a little bit of the black community band, and we can push that again. Ted's still with us, and we have we have another one this year in December. Okay, hold on. Uh. Good morning, you're live, Kate Tabby. Were you trying to look for the word Aviance? Uh, no, Aficiando. It's got an F <laughs> in it. You close. I don't, but I don't know how to say. <laughs> okay. Somebody used it on on the show the other day, and I've been I can never ever say that word right. I missed that show. <laughs> I don't Aficiando. I don't. I don't. I, mean, I know I make an idiot of myself, but I I don't know what else to do. You know. <laughs> okay. Thank you, buddy. Bye bye. <laughs> I don't know. Uh -huh. Anyway. Um, when you, music is just, you just think of life without music. Right. You know, you talk about New well, Orleans without music. Take, you think of your music was take not. Take religion without music. Take well, the same thing. without yeah. music. Yeah, same just, thing. That might have got to be. You know, look, look at the, the hymns, and not just Catholic churches, no, but I mean all, all religions. Churches. You know, hang on a second. Music is everything. <laughs> Good morning, you're live, KTLB. Hey, Gene, you looking for aficionado? No, that's it. What? Spell that word. 
I can't hardly say it either. Aficionado. 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 I'm 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 gonna write it. Aficionado. Aficionado. Connecticut. That's what I'm gonna do. There you go. That, that's it. In the phone book, there's a bar in uh, Homer called Aficionado. <laughs> there is. Yeah, cigar bar, yeah. Uh, uh, that's it. That's where I heard the word for aficion aficionados. That's it. You got right, it. Guys. Thank you, man. I appreciate Join it. The, join the show. Thank, Thank you. you. Bye-bye. John Phillips. Uh, John, and I knew somebody would help me out with that. <laughs> See, that's what we get for trying to use them dollar words when a nickel word will work, yeah, you know? Yeah, I, I, I See, get that. yourself in trouble and make a fool out of that's yourself. <laughs> Talking a little bit about the community band, we had a concert last Sunday, uh -huh. and it was based on the music of the 20s, 30s, and 40s. Oh, oh man, man, big man. band era. Oh, people, yeah. People really, really enjoyed it. We did. We uh, did. Uh, in, uh, in June, end of June, we're doing a historic music at the uh, Jean Lafitte Park. It'll be on the Jean Lafitte stage, and it'll be uh, about music that was pay played in the 1800s by the brass bands in Thibodeau. Wait a minute, whoa, whoa, whoa. What you know about 1800 brass bands in Thibodeau? There was a brass band in 1850 in Thibodeau, sponsored by the St. Joseph Church, uh, Father Menard. Father Menard. What? Yes. And Professor Shaw, that's when he came in, that's when that all started. Right. Menard hired uh, Emmanuel Shaw to teach, play, and uh, compose for the church. 1850. Right. It's, it's, it's documented. Oh, I believe you. There's, there's, a, uh, <clears throat> there's a book that I donated to the Thibodeau Library. I'm unable to check it out because of the, the binding on it and very good. But it gives you a complete history of music up until the 40s. And uh, it goes through uh, the, uh, the brass bands, the string bands, uh, the, the black brass bands that were here in the 1870s. And uh, some of these people went to New Orleans and helped start Dixieland. That's right. So uh, That's New Orleans right. can't claim that. Oh, no. Uh, Nikki Car You're right. Nikki yeah. Carrier. And, I'm, yeah. and believe me, I don't know the real history of music around here, but Nikki Carrier always said Dixieland originated right along this bayou That's and right. then migrated to New Orleans. That's yeah. Exactly what happened. Exactly. That's correct. Because, because of, of, of the, the, that band era back in the 1800s. Yeah. Mm -hmm. there's, a, there's a short piece in that book about a John Roby show, uh -huh. uh, a black musician yeah. from Thibodeau that helped start the... The John Rose started that. Mm -hmm. That's right. It's in the genes. You better believe it. You know when, um, and, and again, I go back to you know we we always talk. Look at look at the history that was here back in the 1800s, and, and look at what it has turned into today in this area. Mm -hmm. You know, look at the community band that's uh -huh. surviving for how many years? Well, we, uh, the community band started about eight, uh, 1980, okay. 1982. That's uh, 20, all gone 30 years. Right. 30 plus years. Right. 30 plus years. And we're carrying on a tradition. Yeah. Right. People love to, you know, mm -hmm. and <laughs> nobody makes you go. You don't get paid to go. Right. You know, people do it because they love to play music. I'll tell you how much uh, some individuals enjoy it so much. This lady plays clarinet in our band, and she's developed arthritis in her hand. When she couldn't practice it at rehearsal the other night, she actually cried. Oh she my was goodness. that disturbed, she couldn't play. She clarinet. couldn't play. Right. That's it's how much a, people love music. It's amazing, huh? And somebody asked me, what do you get out of performing? Do you get paid? I said, yeah, I get paid, but I don't get paid money. <laughs> so when I see somebody tapping their feet or singing along with me, that's my payment. <laughs> it sure is. You know, and how, when, um, and I think part of the issue is that you are stepping down, is yeah. that correct? Trying to. <laughs> trying to. Trying Y'all won't let him, huh? <laughs> You know, it, it doesn't have to be anybody who plays an instrument, but no. someone who likes to organize things. It's and, organizing. Uh, and he, does, he does a such a marvelous job all these years, you know. So, he said uh, he would stay until 95, and I, I figured that'd be all right. <laughs> That's only 22 more years. <laughs> hey, we're going to take a short break, listeners. Pour yourself another cup of coffee. You got Ted Hoffman and Gibbons Rover Show in the house this morning. We'll be right back here at the balcony, 640 AM KTIB. <laughs>
Okay, I give up. What is that? <laughs> That's a tip of community van. I don't know what this is. <laughs> I'm not an aficionado. What you call it? <laughs> I, I wrote it down. Aficionado. I wrote it just like it sounds. I don't know how to smell yeah, it. But I'm not all right here. I tell you, without Ted Hoffman, uh, the work in tail that because community Bef fans amazing. Before we close, number one, man, and I, I want to forget, June the 9th. Right. Go ahead. Uh, our Bayou Land Radio Control Club is having a fly-in. We'll have uh, people from the New Orleans area, Morgan City, uh, probably Lafayette, Baton Rouge, uh, who come and fly their model airplanes, and uh, it's a possibility one of the members out of Morgan City is going to have a, a real model jet that's going to fly maybe a, close to 200 miles an hour. Wow. Is this is it still back there? So um, 60 Arpent Road. Yeah. 60 Take Arpent. the road going to Chacahula off of LA-1. You go through the uh, bad S curve where Talbot ends. Right. And you go about another quarter mile. It's called 60 Arpent Road. You hang a right. And it's at the very end of the power lines. Okay, and that's June the 9th. What are the hours? Uh, we start at 9, and uh, we'll fly until 3, 4 o'clock, I guess. Mm -hmm. That's a Sunday? It's a Sunday. got refreshments out there for sale, yeah, stuff like that? Hamburgers, you talk about it again it's next week, yeah. Better believe it. Yeah, yeah I'm going to take the grandkids. I was, I was telling Ted, I took, uh, we, there's one in Laplace, and I mean, that, those things are fun. They are a lot of fun to go watch, and those kids uh, have a ball. Getting back, I want, before we run out of time, I want to go back. You were talking about, of course, the big band era. Right. And what, what happened to that? I mean, you could go, people could go anywhere to, I, I would assume, a nightclub or... or well, uh, there were these big dance halls. Dance halls, okay, that's a better word, and, yeah. Uh, <coughs> it, it was they went there to dance. Right. What they call them, jitney dances. You'd pay a nickel a dance or something like that. You That's didn't right. have to pay a door a fee. You'd uh -huh. pay per dance. Like the with the right. combos, huh? That's correct. And uh, because of the demise of these big band, uh, dance halls, dance halls, the uh, bands couldn't be afforded any longer. So that's when they went to smaller combos and smaller venues where dances were held. And that's the changes, you know, just like the newspapers are, yeah. are falling to the computer. The, the big band fell to the small combo. Well, you, you, I guess the, the, it was before my time, the late 1930s, even into the 40s, the Tommy Darcy's, the Glenn okay. Miller's, the, the, you know, the, I mean, those, those bands were 20 and 30 musicians. Oh, yeah. You yeah. know I mean? They were huge right. back then. Mm -hmm. That's correct. And then went down to the four, five, six-person combo, mm -hmm. and then I don't even know what happened to that. Well, you know, the Como was played at the pavilion, and they were all blind. <laughs> you remember the Como band? Sure. Well, I danced to them. <laughs> what do you mean, all blind? They couldn't see, but they played music. You don't need to you see to play music. True story? Uh-huh, yeah. At the pavilion. Uh, I danced to them at the KC home. Uh -huh. the wow, KC the old KC home. home? Right. And then... Uh, Rock and roll came in in the 50s, like yeah. 52, 53, mm -hmm. and uh, that's when the Woodman of the World started. And Amen. The college Upstairs, end. Yeah. College end. Yeah. My, I'll never forget when my dad watched, I think it was Elvis Presley, he said, you know, that's going to be the ruination of this country. <laughs> 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 well, the Rhythm Kings, uh, the band I played with, we used to make fun of him, you know, and <laughs> mimic him and stuff like that. Uh -huh. Hey, look at Linda. Linda just spelled the word properly. Look, come here. You th I'm not. I'm not stupid. I can't read that word, but look at the way I spell it. I can read it. <laughs> 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 Linda would have given you that. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. That's what I I'm get. I'm going to call you later today and ask you. Uh, An auto. That's uh, right. I spelled it just like it, just like like it sounds. <laughs> I'm going to research that for you. <laughs> oh, man. Anyway, um, just think of the world. You know, when, when we talk about religion and we talk about the military, uh -huh. just think of the whole world without music. Oh, man. Huh? Just think about that. Okay. I've been watching these Dancing with the Stars and all that, and some, some of it's screaming music, but they play some beautiful stuff, too. But uh, John Philip Sousa and, and uh, Strauss, you know, the Strauss waltzes will never die. You never die, you know? Mm -mm. No, and, the uh, kids got me a, um, what you got, a I, iPod uh -huh. that you plug into your radio on my truck, and they loaded it up. I, John Philip, you, you, Sousa, you said, has got 160 marches. Yeah. I guarantee you i got 100 of them. Uh -huh. I'm serious. No kidding. That's great. You know, people use music for different things. People use music to relax. People use music to motivate. Uh, people use music to teach. Sure. You know, it people use music to pray. 
people use music to heal. Absolutely. You know, I mean, uh, there's yeah. there's thousands of reasons that, that people use music. They finally made the Stars and Stripes a national national Amen. march. It took them a long time, but he he thought of that on a boat back coming back from Europe. He thought of that da 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 da, da and look what happened. Yeah. Golly. Yeah, there's uh, a music called uh, that's called redeeming value. It will last forever. You know the good stuff. Amen. The stuff that has today, here today, going tomorrow. Yeah. It'll never remember. No. Mm -hmm. Now, what are these people who are uh, young that go to a nursing home? What are they going to have? They won't have any kind of real entertainment, like when people go in and play for the old I'll people. I played the twice this week at the nursing homes. Yeah. And they all sung, the, they cry. They all sing those old songs, you know. Mm -hmm. You know, my sunshine. Well, you know, you, you people laugh at me. What's life? What's life? Life is memories. That's all oh, it is. Memory. You know, your first date. I can, what song was, you know, what are yeah. these kids going to have today? That's you know, right. there, there'll be no memory, oh, yes. not like we had anyway. No. They'll, they'll have memories with music, but not like we had. You know, there's so, we built so many memories based on music uh -huh. when we were kids Absolutely. and growing up. You know, I mean, really, when you stop and think about it. And we're going to come um, back next month and bring Lindy too and talk some more about music because music's the magic of the soul. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. Uh, but it's just, just a, and, and again, it's just amazing that, um, and I've said it a million times, the wealth of musicians and the wealth of the people in this area that play musical instruments and sing. Uh, I've been to choir. Look, listen, look at some of the great choirs around here, you know. Um, the, the one at the, the black choir, I, f I forgot the name of. Man, they played at the Lafouche Centennial. You know, they gave me goosebumps. Uh -huh, when no, they tremendous group mm -hmm. um, you know of course St. Joseph's choir and, and all of the you know some of the church choirs in this area did you watch American Idol this week I, I had a 16 year old girl was fabulous until she started screaming Gibbons you're not going to believe this I have probably watched three maybe four American Idols uh -huh. that's it it doesn't, it doesn't, it, it just, I don't know. It but doesn't when it starts screaming once in a while she come out with some beautiful stuff but most of it's screaming nowadays yeah. I tell you that, that little sixteen-year-old girl is fabulous, but she, that last song she did, she opened her mouth to why she didn't win either. <laughs> and of course, what was his name? The black bar from Lake Charles. Did you see that? Oh yeah, Ledet. Mm -hmm. Josh, Josh Ledet. Ledet, they Ledet call him. yeah. Joshua Ledet. Hey, man, come on, hang on a second. Let me grab this call. <laughs> we gotta get out of here. Good morning, you're live, KTIB. Good morning, Gene. Good morning, Loy. Man, y'all talking about when I was growing up. <laughs> <laughs> I remember the OKC home, the WOW, and, of course, the college. Oh, absolutely, man. <laughs> there would never be another era like that. No, you're right. Um, you, you, the, the, those those eras, for the good or bad of it, are gone forever. Yeah. yeah. You, you could never, you, you can't bring that back. No. You know? Nope. You can't bring it back. Uh, Bernadette yeah. Duga and uh, who was her... Her, her sidekick did the last show that they mm -hmm. did on the college in. Mm -hmm. pa I mean, packed the house mm -hmm. for every performance. Even had even brought it to Thibodeau. Um, but the, yeah, those days are gone. You know, um, yeah. for the good or bad of it, they're gone forever. All we have left is a memory. That's right. Always one. Yep. You know, and that and that's all you got in life. Really. That's all it is. I'm telling home. you, when you boil it down. Well, you, you know, you can dice it, you can slice it. I don't care. And my kids laugh at me and say, no, it's a lot more than that. No, it's not. That's yeah. all it is. Life is nothing but a memory. Memory. Because when you're gone, I have never, ever seen a U-Haul back of a hearse yet. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay? No. So you're not, nobody's taking, nobody's taking anything with them. So what's no, left? No, no. Right. What's left? Memory. Your flesh is gone. Your body's gone. Uh huh. huh? Yeah, all, all they got left is, you know, I remember when he did. I remember when, you know, oh, he was good, but he was Think about it. That's that's all it is for the good or bad yeah, of it. You know, right, and, and that's what we we try to instill in the kids and Amen. grandkids. You know, uh, make make your kids remember the good things. Sure, make it make it all make it lots of memories and make it good memories. Right. You know, that's all they're gonna have. That's that's all there is. <laughs> you know. But you know, and in, in our era, uh, I know Mr. Ted. I, I'm about close to his age. Mm -hmm. And uh, I can remember him playing with the bands and uh, the college in and all them, you know, like I said, the old KC home and the W.O.W. Amen. And then you just can't beat that time. No. It was a different era. You know, it, 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 it's, it was a different time.
Yeah. Uh, the 50s and 60s, oh, the 50s. Uh, yeah, were, there were good times. You know, it, it, World War II had come to an end. Uh, there, yeah. uh, you know, there, there was a Cold War threat, but for the most part, this country was in pretty good shape. Uh, life was simple. Life was good back then. That's you know, the late 50s Lawrence and early so 60s, it brings back. life was good. Uh -huh. You know, there, were, there was a family unit in place. Mama was able to stay home and raise the kids. Right. Daddy yeah, went kid, to work. Right. Uh, the, the, the workforce was employed. People were making enough money to, survive, you know, to, to make a living and right. go to dances and buy growth. You know, times and were good. Go church, you know. Times were uh -huh. good. Time, times were different. Times were good. Well, the majority you know? of people uh, grew their own stuff. Sure. Sure. When I was growing up. You know, especially here in South Louisiana at that time, it was still farm. It was still, you know, basically agricultural yeah. and, agricultural. and basically rural. You know, basically. I you, could, sure. you could drive down... Uh, Jack Bay and all of them, Bob Lou, I mean, everybody had big gardens. Sure, sure. Who is that? Roadside if stands, you, didn't, if you know. If you didn't grow what somebody else had, you'd go swap that. with them. You bet. Like, times, times were good. Times yeah. were good. Uh, people about, were good. Uh, you could sleep with your doors that, open. Uh, rock and roll was going to be the run nation. <laughs> no, I'll never forget my dad. We that, were watching. Look, I think that, it was. I, I, can, <laughs> I can remember my great, my great aunts and uncles up north of Louisiana said, when the Charleston come out, that's going to be that the was it. In the country. <laughs> I remember. Look, it's been going on. <laughs> <laughs> we were sitting in the living room. We had a little old bitty TV with one of them round tubes or something. We were watching the Ed Sullivan show. The 12 by 12 TV? Yeah, one of them deals. You know what I mean? You had to get up real close to see it. We, we were, was, I don't know what, but I'll never forget Elvis. I think it was Elvis that came on. Boy, he was doing the gyrations. Uh -huh. And my daddy said, that's going to be the ruination of this country. <laughs> Who is it? <laughs> Lloyd Smith. Oh, oh, oh yeah. You, you said a young man, Lloyd. Yo, yeah, Lloyd. You know God. what? Laugh loud and laugh long, because that's all there is, yeah, buddy. I'm, I'm fishing right, out Laugh over. loud, laugh long, and love hard. You got it. You got it. Have all a right, great I've weekend. Enjoyed it. Well, y'all have a good day, man. You got it. Bye-bye. <laughs> all right, Dave. Bye-bye. Uh, the public, I'd like to remind them that our community band is going to be at good. the Gene Lafitte Park towards the end of June. Just look for the advertisement. And we'll also do a Christmas concert. Uh, we don't have any date yet, but uh, it will be advertised so that uh, and free concert. Here. Yeah, I'm still Amen. Here. We tried everything. Gibbons, thanks uh, for being with us. Ted, okay. thanks for coming. Oh, it's been if great. You, um, uh, June the 9th, we'll talk about that. Send me a flyer on the on the community band stuff, and send me a flyer on your okay. uh, your your radio, your remote control radio fly-in, remote control plane fly-in. Listeners, don't forget VFW uh, Memorial Day tribute to the men and women who gave it their all. Sunday, it, it, it doesn't last long. Take a little bit like, take a little bit time that day to remember. Uh, you know, who paid the ultimate price for us. That's at, that's at the VFW Home Post, 1597, Sunday at 12 noon. It lasts about an hour at the most. I guarantee you, you will be glad you went. God bless you today. We, Paul Lester will be here Monday. We'll do a, a Memorial Day show Monday. God bless you today. God bless you every day. Do something nice for somebody today, and we'll see you Monday here at the balcony, 640 AM KTIB.